Good morning, folks. I'm Adriana Jute. I'm now at Sepang International Circuit in Kuala Lumpur for the curtain raiser event of the first Shell Eco Marathon in Asia. So as we begin the countdown, we would like to bring you a sneak preview on one of the hottest events by Shell next year. Shell Echo Marathon Asia. This is how we roll, this is how we go. So check it out, check the flow real quick. S P A N G, and this is how I am C real quick. At the um, Shell Echo, this is how it is. Let's go. July 2010, and uh, let me begin with the flow. This is off the head, give it up for Shell in KL. We stay swell. Because you're actually lying down? and you're driving so as you go down the hill you could see all the small stones and small pebbles around so that was scary but it was a good experience you should try it ministry of higher education what we're going to do we are interested in encouraging the young people to get involved with so-called the new technology what we have here we have 20 universities the government funded as well as 400 plus the uh, private institution and many of these youngsters have creative ideas. What we are doing, we are, we are facilitating them to have the new ideas on automation, on moving forward and making Malaysia as one of the remarkable. This is from University Technology Malaysia. I'm going to interview one of the crew members or probably the team manager for this team. So come on. So what's the experience of driving it? I think this is like the limousine version of all the cars. As you can see, it is quite spacious. You still can move around. Who actually designed this tricycle? The actual design tricycle was a used uh, solar tricycle. UTM built for uh, solar trellis in Australia from Pakanudin. And then we need to have a car for the race. So uh, we rem I remember him and say, oh, can we power borrow it? And you say yes, okay. And so we say oh, we fetch it and it was in a bit bad shape. We renovated it and make it fitting to the rules. Started this uh, initiative, uh, you know, to, to develop some technology that is uh, advanced, you know, uh, energy efficient, sustainable. So we have started a long time ago and we have participa participated in Australia in, in the five or six years ago. Why we are in this business? Because uh, we are University of Technology. We start this uh, Show Economy Marathon project about two years ago, and this is our second car uh, that we built. Uh, the first car we built is, uh, is uh, uh, again is an urban concept category, urban concept category, and it's, uh, we are using GTL as our power source. We participate in 2008 Nogaro France uh, Show Economy Marathon, and this is our second car. Uh, we change uh, the whole car. We redesign the whole car. And this is a new design, new car, using hydrogen fuel cell as our power source. The team is actually made up of a multidisciplinary crew. There's uh, six of us here, and uh, five of us are mechanical engineering final year students, and uh, one more is actually an electrical engineering student. So actually there's a combination of both required to build this car. Uh, the car is actually made up of uh, multiple components. Electrical components are made up a lot, a huge part of it. So that's why we uh, got in this electrical guy to help us out on the car. What is your first impression when you heard of the word eco-marathon? It's kind of something for environment. Sustainable transport and green vehicle technology. For sustainable future, racing for fuel efficiency. Eco means something green, a marathon something long. So this is what happened at the curtain raiser. It's not just about displaying the cars, but soon we will actually bring the cars on track. We're inspecting the vehicle, whether uh, the vehicle dimensions and the safety rules as per the shell standards or the shell rules regulation or not. So first thing we're going to do is to check the dimension of the vehicle. So this is the length. The length of the vehicle should be in between uh, these two lines. So the maximum allowable length is 350 centimeters. This one. Then the width, maximum allowable width, okay, and the height. So these are the first criteria. Check the driver's clothing, whether the suit, helmet, goggles, gloves, shoes, whether they are fire retardant and proper safety gears or not. These are the vehicle design, some parameters like these. Um, if it's a three-wheel drive or four-wheel or 
there are two type of uh, cars one is a uh, urban concept one is a prototype then we will check mainly on the safety like the driver position the head the head of the driver should not come out then um, seat belts whether the seat belts can sustain the weight or not the weight of driver the driver weight should be more than 50 kg and uh, the braking system the glasses uh, the mirrors Shelly Car Marathon puts a lot of emphasis on teamwork. This is one good example. This is a team from National University of Singapore. They're trying to um, fine-tune their car before we actually go on track. So let's say below you. Team briefing is very, very important before any of the cars actually go on track. Although this is just a curtain raiser event, but the manager needs to inform the driver what needs to be done, where to go, and how fast to go. Eco Marathon is a very exciting event. It's about breaking down the barriers in our thinking to what are the possibilities in fuel efficiency. And what better way to do it than to use a young mind that is able to challenge the assumptions that we currently hold. Asian uh, institutions have been participating in our Eco Marathon elsewhere in Europe, and you can see the interest is already there, but there's just no platform. So this is a wonderful opportunity, a first time. I believe we'll get a great response. Firstly, I'm hoping that all Malaysian universities and colleges and uh, institutes would send at least one team each. I, 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 I hope that the Malaysian educational institution would take this opportunity to showcase our Malaysian talent, our innovation, our creativity. So that's my expectation. And. Uh, for, for us, Shell, I mean, we are doing it as part of our corporate responsibility, uh, part of our mission to promote sustainable development, to create awareness uh, on the importance of energy efficiency. So do you think you guys will be interested to participate in something like this if you're given an opportunity? Yeah, uh, I think we'll be participating next year. Hopefully, la, fingers crossed. Yeah. yeah, I really hope so, really. So what sort of car do you think you will come up with? Do you know? I think it's top secret for the moment. <laughs> <laughs> we can't reveal any confidential information. <laughs> for those who have never seen Shell Eco Marathon before, this is the mini scale of Shell Eco Marathon Asia in 2010. A real track, a real race, a real car. So you can see behind me, they're about to be flagged off. And they're all preparing to go. Marathon Asia. This is how we roll, this is how we go. So check it out, check the flow real quick. S P A N G, and this is how I MC real quick at the um, Shell Echo. This is how it is. Let's go. July 2010, and uh, let me begin with the flow. This is off the head. Give it up for Shell in KL. We stay swell. Okay, <laughs> This has been a tiring event, but it has been exciting too. So um, I think it's a day for us and we'll wrap up the whole session for the curtain raiser. We hope to see you again in Shell Eco Marathon Asia 2010 on the 8th to the 10th of July. So don't forget, be the participant, be the volunteers and be part of the game.